This assessment asks us to predict the product of the reaction on screen. Before we get started, let's notice that what we're doing is reacting an ester with an alcohol. And so if we think about what's going to happen here, we're going to displace this or replace this ethoxy group with the alkoxy group of this alcohol. The resulting product then is going to be another ester. This is a transesterification reaction. Now, the reaction is going to start. I'm going to redraw the molecule so that we don't have to worry about pointing uh, at the screen. This reaction is going to begin using uh, sulfuric acid to protonate the ester. Why? Because the alcohol that we're using is a relatively weak nucleophile. Esters are not super electrophiles already, so we have to protonate them to make them more electrophilic. Now we're going to grab the proton from a protonated alcohol because with sulfuric acid and the alcohol in solution, that's what we would end up with. And so we can protonate that to give us our more reactive ester. With the ester being protonated, now a molecule of our alcohol can attack, as so, and that's going to give us what is essentially a protonated tetrahedral intermediate. Now, if we look at what we've made here, we, we know that we're doing a, we said earlier that it's a transesterification, so we need to get this ethoxy group to leave. In order to make it leave, we're going to want to protonate it, okay? Uh, in order to protonate it, first we have to remove the proton here. Note that this alcohol, when it attacked, it brought along its proton, and so we need to remove that proton at this point. And so another molecule of alcohol in solution can come in and grab that proton. Note that all of these reactions we've drawn with reversible arrows because we're under conditions that where equilibration can happen. This molecule here, this intermediate, would be considered the real neutral tetrahedral intermediate. Um, we also generated an acid in the previous step, and so now we're able to protonate this ethoxy group. Remember, the goal was to make it a better leaving group uh, as part of this transesterification. Grab that proton, and I think we're going to start to run out of space here. Grab that proton to give us this intermediate here, where now that ethoxy group is protonated. Uh, that ethoxy group is now an excellent leaving group. What do good leaving groups or excellent leaving groups do? They leave. And so we can show that being removed. And in fact, if we want, we can go ahead and use the oxygen lone pair to help push that out, essentially drawing the resonance structure of the carbocation that that group leaving will produce. That gets us to here, where we now have effectively a protonated ester. And by drawing it in this resonance form, it becomes a little bit more clear what has to happen next. We have to have this proton be removed. That proton can be removed by another molecule of the alcohol coming in and grabbing it, like so. This completes the synthesis of the new ester. And so the mechanism is as such. The product that we've made is this new ester here. I know this question or this assessment wasn't asking about the mechanism, but here we have it. Note that we started the reaction with acid. Uh, when this alcohol grabs a proton, we produce more of that acid. The reaction was faster because of the acid. This is an acid-catalyzed reaction.